Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. That's not right. This is a Sophia video. We have to channel our inner Sophia. <coughs> Hello friends, and welcome to another video. How was that? Was that good? Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing the lip swatches of the new Sophia Nagard X ColourPop collab. Sorry, it's a little dirty up here. I had a little highlighter incident on top of this. But today we are going to be doing the lip swatches for the Sophia Nagard X ColourPop collab. They recently came out with six exclusive lipsticks and they are all inspired in collaboration with the lovely YouTuber Sophia Nagard. I have been obsessed with her videos and her channel and her content for God only knows how long. She has become one of my new favorite YouTubers and when I found out that her and ColourPop were going to be coming out with six different lipstick shades, I was super excited about it so let's get a little bit batty and let's swatch and try on these lipsticks so as you can see here is what the package looks like and inside we have a total of six different lipsticks I believe there is a total of two mattes or three mattes and the rest are all cream lipsticks we have some really dark dramatic colors all the way up to some really beautiful nude shades. So I'm very excited to be doing this. I have been waiting for this package for so, so long. I have been waiting to film this video. So today's the day, that's what we're gonna be doing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something a little unorthodox. I think I'm going to start with the darkest shade and then move our way up to the lightest shade. So first off, I just wanna show you guys the packaging. I mean, I'm sure a bunch of you have already seen it on YouTube or on social media or Instagram but the packaging of these lipsticks are divine. They're this beautiful, like bright, shiny metallic tube, and on the top are full of bats. That's kind of like Sophia's brand. She loves bats, she loves anything clothing-wise that has like the bat sleeve, so this right here just screams Sophia. The very first shade that I am going to be trying on today is the darkest out of all six of them, and that is the matte lipstick in the shade Brucey. Now, all of these names she has come up with herself. This name was inspired from the video that she did when she created her own lipsticks with Bite Laboratories, I think it is. And she created this really pretty, like blue, gray, navy, green moment. And she decided to name it Brucey or Bruce, whatever, after the shark in Finding Nemo. So, and the component is, again, like I said, absolutely beautiful. But when you roll up the tube, Hopefully you guys can see that okay, but, but on the actual lipstick, there are little bat carvings on it. Again, super perfect, super Sophia, so I'm very, very excited to try these on. This is also my first time ever trying ColourPop lipsticks. I've never tried them, but I hear a lot of good things about them, so we are going to give this one a roll. So first, I'm just going to take it and warm it up on my hand a little bit. Wow, okay. So here's what Brucey looks like swatched on the hand. And for a matte lipstick, it's actually really creamy. I didn't know if it was gonna be super hard to apply because typically with matte lipsticks, they are a little bit more on the drier side, uh, like harder to apply side, if that makes sense. So I just warmed it up a little bit on my hand. And as you can see, that is a very interesting, unique color. Very anxious to see how this is going to look on me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and swatch Brucey on the lips. All right, guys, so here is what Brucey looks like on the lips. I'm actually, I actually kind of like this color. It's very unique. It's something that I definitely don't own in my collection already. It honestly doesn't feel like a true matte lipstick. I have other matte lipsticks that when I put them on, it literally feels like I just rubbed my lips in like the Sahara Desert. But this one actually doesn't feel that way. It's really comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel super dry. I could definitely see myself actually wearing this. Let me know what you guys think of it. Do you like this color? Is this a color that you would wear? The next shade that we are going to be swatching is another matte lipstick. And this one is very, very popular. A lot of people were really excited about this one. A lot of people really wanted to get this one. And this is kind of like a 
burgundy brown red color if that's that's the best way I can describe it here's what the bottom of this one looks like all right so here's what screamer looks like swatched on the hand just to kind of warm it up a little bit let me go ahead and remove Brucey and we can go ahead and try on screamer I already have a feeling I'm going to really really like this one so let's get started All right, and here is what Screamer looks like swatched on the lips. I am so sorry. This is probably like the worst lip swatch I have ever done in the history of my channel. <laughs> like it is so freaking uneven like over here. Oh shit, like this is embarrassing. I'm not using any lip liners with this, so that's probably why. I am like the kind of person, I cannot apply lipstick without a lip liner. But for this video, I wanted just to wear the lipstick, so I am so sorry that this lip swatch is absolutely horrendous. Kind of disappointed in myself, but anyway, try to ignore that. This is what Screamer looks like swatched on the lips, and again, I knew it. I knew I was going to love this color. Super, super beautiful, super fall time. This actually reminds me of a couple lipsticks that I used to have in my collection that I really, really liked. Um, this really reminds me of a Revlon lipstick that I really liked. I believe it was called Black Cherry. And I loved, loved that lipstick. I was obsessed with it. And this one really kind of reminds me of that. Again, this is another matte lipstick. And compared to Brucey, this one actually feels a little bit more matte than Brucey did. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because it's a red. Either or, I don't really care. I love the color. I think it's super flattering. It makes your teeth look really, really white, which I ain't mad at. So those are the two matte lipsticks that we have in the collection. Now we are going to be moving on to the cream lipsticks. And this next one is called Fred. And this is a beautiful red color. So as you can see, it is a lot lighter. It is more of like a true red compared to Screamer. Screamer kind of has that dark, like blackberry look to it whereas this one looks to be more of a true red and again this one is in the shade Fred and it is a cream lipstick so like always I am going to just warm it up on my hand a little bit I'm just going to apply that right next to Screamer and right off the bat it is beautiful it doesn't seem as creamy as like a cream lipstick should be but again that's okay that could just be ColourPop's formula I don't wear red lipsticks that often but I do like the way they look on me so without further ado let's go ahead and remove screamer and apply Fred oh my god you guys this is oh beautiful Wow, oh my god. So first thing, this was extremely creamy. Very, very, very easy to apply. It is very opaque. The color payoff is absolutely amazing. And this is a beautiful red color. I am absolutely obsessed with this. So here's what Fred looks like on the lips. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. I'm so glad I got the full collection. Like my, my credit card is quaking but I'm excited about it. So here's what Fred looks like swatched on the lips. As you can see, it is your perfect, awesome, everyday red lipstick. If you are watching this video and you are a avid red lipstick wearer, this is definitely one that you need to add to your collection. If you're not into any of these colors, the one that I would recommend to you guys so far is Fred. This is a beautiful color. Got some on my teeth. All right, guys, so we have three more lipsticks left, and this next one I am probably the most excited to actually own, and this is another cream lipstick, and this is in the shade Bury Me in Lipsticks. Now, if you are a true Sophia Nagard fan, you know exactly where this name came from, you know exactly what color this is. She has done a few videos where she has mixed every lipstick from Sephora together. She has mixed every drugstore lipstick together to create this Franken lipstick. And from the Sephora video, she came up with the name Bury Me in Lipsticks for that color. And right here in my hands, we have the ColourPop version of Bury Me in Lipsticks. And this one I'm super excited to have because this is like a true Sophia color that she created in her kitchen herself, which I'm really excited about. So this is a really pretty kind of like mauve -y pink color. 
Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, just looking at this color right off the bat, this is not something that I would usually go for. This is not a color that I would usually buy. But the reason I'm really excited to try this on is because one, it's something out of my comfort zone, something I've never tried before. And two, this is like a Sophia like fan thing that I'm super excited about. Just like when your favorite YouTuber comes out with a palette or they come out with a makeup line or something like that. This is how I feel about this color because this is such an iconic shade from her videos, the Bury Me in Lipstick. So I'm really anxious to try this on. So first let's go ahead and warm it up on my hand. I'm just gonna swatch it right next to Fred. So here is what Bury Me in Lipsticks looks like. This is a very kind of neutral everyday color, especially if you're not someone who's too willing to go for a red or a concealer nude. I feel like this is a really good in-between color for that. So I'm going to very quickly remove Fred so we can swatch the iconic Bury Me in Lipsticks. So just a little update on how my lips are feeling. They honestly don't feel that bad. After trying on two mattes and a cream, I usually my lips will start to like crack and bleed and really start to hurt. They feel pretty good. So I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with that. Okay guys, so here is what Bury Me in Lipsticks looks like on the lips. I was definitely right. This is a very kind of neutral enough color that you could get away with wearing every single day. And can I just say how excited I am that I am literally holding and wearing the iconic Franken lipstick that she has created in her kitchen, but now it's in ColourPop form. This is wild. I just feel like this color kind of washes me out a little bit. You guys will have to give me your opinions on what you personally think of this color. But I don't hate it, but I don't, I'm not obsessed with it. But All right guys, and we have two lipsticks left to swatch and these ones I am personally most excited for because these are the nude lipsticks. Again, the name was inspired by one of the lipsticks she created at Bite Laboratories and this one is another cream lipstick and this is in the shade Mrs. Norris which is a Harry Potter reference for those of you who don't know. I'm not like a huge Harry Potter fan, I just know who Mrs. Norris is. This one is kind of a very unique color, one that I'm very anxious and excited to try on. But as you can see, it is kind of like a taupey brown with maybe a little hint of gray. I'm just going to swatch on my hand. I have such bony hands that it's very awkward to swatch. I can never get like pretty swatches. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna like this one. So here's what Mrs. Norris looks like swatched on the hand. So let's go ahead and remove Bury Me in Lipsticks and try on Mrs. Norris. I got a little toasty, so I had to take my sweatshirt off. These lights get hot, girl. Ah, oh, God, I love pumpkin spice. Okay, so again, I got a little excited and a little messy with my lip swatching, so just try to overlook that. But here's what Mrs. Norris looks like swatched on the lips. Really, really like this color. It is something a little bit more on the dramatic side, but again, that's okay with me. This lip color is super comfortable. All of the, all of the lipsticks that I've tried, honestly, are super comfortable. Also, real quick, I know this sounds like a sponsored video. It's not. I paid for all of this with my own money, with my own credit card. I'm just honestly very genuinely surprised and happy with everything. So I know this kind of sounds like a little bit like paid script, but I promise it's not. All of these lipsticks are really, really comfortable. And Mrs. Norris, I do really, really like this color. It is definitely a color I could see myself wearing. All right. We have one more lipstick left, and this is the nudest out of all six of them. And this name was inspired from her video where she mixed all of her nude lipsticks together. And the name Bikini Bottom was born. I love nudes. I love them. As soon as I saw this one, I was like, I am really going to like this one. This is like a perfect everyday nude. Is this going to be kind of like a concealer nude? 
I don't know. We're going to find out when we try it on. But I am going to warm it up on my hand a little bit right next to Mrs. Norris. Oh yeah, beach. So here's what Bikini Bottom looks like swatched on the hand. Here's the difference between Bikini Bottom and Mrs. Norris. As you can see, it is more of like a natural, normal nude lipstick, I guess you could say. And here are all six of them swatched next to each other. I feel like this one is going to be one that I carry in my purse. So I am just going to take my very swatched up makeup wipe and just remove Mrs. Norris from my lips so we can go ahead and try on Bikini Bottom. All right, guys, so without further Further ado, let's go ahead and swatch this beautiful bikini bottom. I can hear Hocus Pocus on my TV right now, and it's taking everything in me not to just turn the camera off and go watch it. <laughs> All right, guys, and here is what bikini bottom looks like swatched on the lips. And I was right, this one is going to be put right in my purse for an everyday lipstick. I love this one so as you can see it is very very nude but there is a little bit of color to it so it doesn't look like you just wiped concealer all over your lips if you know what I mean like this isn't like a true 2007 throwback but it's pretty darn close and I feel like everyone can relate to me on this is whenever you go to the store and you see a nude lipstick it doesn't matter how many you have at home it doesn't matter if you have 18 million nude lipsticks, you always end up buying nude lipsticks. I am that person, and this one is absolutely perfect. All right, guys, so that was all six of the Sofia Nagard X Color Pop collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one of these is your favorite on me, or if you have this collection yourself, which one of these lipsticks is your favorite. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go down and hit that like button. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you also go down and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any future videos and for those of you who may be watching this video and you have no clue who Sophia Nagard is make sure you head on over to her channel and make sure you smash her subscribe button I love you guys so so much but until then I will see you guys on next time <laughs> I just can't help but keep impersonating her this whole video all right I love you guys I will see you later thank you for watching I love you bye